Converting vegetable oils into a viable fuel offers advantages and many challenges. In this experiment, waste cooking oil will be converted to biodiesel. The starting oil is a mixture of triglycerides, each derived from three distinct fatty acids and glycerol. For the purpose of this analysis, we will consider each hydrocarbon chain to be derived from linolenic acid. Reacting 20 milliliters of oil with 5 milliliters of 0.4 molar sodium hydroxide solution in methanol will result in a transesterification. In this proportion, methanol will be in a large excess and the base will simply serve as a catalyst to speed the transformation. The methanol will substitute for the glycerol, thereby resulting in two phases, one corresponding to the glycerol layer and the other to the new ester formed, methyl linoleate. Given the structures of these reactants and products, it is possible to predict solubilities and other physical properties like viscosity and volatility. A complete stoichiometric analysis can also be used to predict the total mass and volume of these product layers. Giving the composition of the vegetable oil makes it possible to determine the density and formula weight for the triglyceride in question. Using the density, the starting volume of oil can be converted to grams. Using the formula weight, this can be converted to moles of oil. With the balanced equation, one mole of triglyceride generates one mole of glycerol and three moles of methyl linoleate. Similar conversions can be used to determine the mass and volume of these products. Thus, 1.5 milliliters of glycerol and 20.3 milliliters of ester can be expected to form from approximately 20 milliliters of cooking oil. These calculations can then form the basis for determining the percent yield of biodiesel. And the relative densities of these products can be used to identify the phases. With the lower density product, methyl linoleate, floating on the glycerol.